while, Johnny. This was a, a pre-planned trip, and we were definitely not anticipating the snowfall that has started and that we're about to get. They're calling for 60 to 70 centimeters of snow, which for our American friends that might see this video is close to two feet. And no, we are not ice fishing. We have the boat at the back. I'll be surprised if we don't if we don't get a double header here. I think another rod's gonna go oh, off. It doesn't even want to be real. Yeah, that's gonna be a big fish. You're so far out there, eh? Yeah. Good. Up a little bit. Huh? Fish, fish, double header, double header. Yeah, double header. Double header. As predicted, because of what we were marking there. So what we're doing here, guys, the outside rod hit. I pop the clip on it, it's a gator clip. So what I automatically do is while I'm putting pressure on this fish, I automatically let out the other rod that was the inside rod. That's gonna allow the inside rod to kick to the outside. This one's gonna drop into the channel and me and Andy right now, we're on the double header. Oh yeah, big fish, buddy, big fish. Double header, Andy just landed his. Here's mine. That's a tank. That's a big fish. That is a big fish, guys. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that walleye. All right, guys, so we are out here trolling the French River. Andy's rod went off first. He is using a uh, bandit. Yeah, that's a bandit. This particular tank uh, crushed a custom Husky Jerk 175 feet back. Andy's, I believe, was 150 to 160 back. Uh, and this is what you can catch on the French River. Absolutely beautiful fish. Oh. oh yeah, does not want to oh, Look at the size oh, of that fish. Watch that. <laughs> oh, oh. Walk back, Johnny, walk back. There you go. Oh my good that's a husky jerk 14. What? Oh buddy. That's a tank. That is a tank. Fish, 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 yeah, fish, fish on up. the other. How many lines out do we have? No lines? That was the oh, first one. Oh, some super tanks. You can let yours out, John. That's a good score, that's right there. That's another five. Let's see. The light is on. All right, here we go. Another beautiful. So you want a walleye? <laughs> you want a walleye fish in late November? This is what it's all about. All we gotta do is make sure we stay tucked behind the windshield, <laughs> and we'll be okay. There you go. 
on the custom husky jerk. Good job, Andy. Husky JBs. JBs. Custom husky jerk. Yeah. 14. If you guys want to catch a lot of walleye, you got to go see JB's Fishing Depot in Toronto. They have the hottest colors. Hey, Andy, Absolutely. we got our best customs from them on the Husky Jerks for sure. The greatest selection of custom Huskies and pretty much any lure, custom wise. Here we go. Beautiful. They're everywhere. Absolutely loaded in here. Me and the fish now, boys. Oh, this feels like a good one, actually. It's like not so fish. small. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's not a little guy by any stretch, I don't think. It's a nice fish. It's a decent fish. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice fish. Bang. Boom. It's in the net. In the net. Try <clears throat> <laughs> about a three and a half. Think so? Yeah, I'd say I'm guessing three, three in the fours. In the fours? It's yeah. getting a little bit thick. It's that time of year. This is probably one of the smaller ones we marked because we were marking some giants in there. Uh, not bad. Whoop. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Who came for these FXR suits? <laughs> <laughs> Another pike, you think? Oh, ooh, jumping way back. Oh, yeah, jumping way might, back. Might be a big smallie. We got the pike. Well, minus five right now, guys. Water temps are very close to freezing. And uh, this will probably be the last time we troll the north end of Georgian Bay before we have to make a change to either the Niagara River, Bay of Quinney, or uh, Lake St. Clair. We'll see. No, no, no. No, that's a nice fish, man. Put him in the net. Put him in the net. Oh, nice one, buddy. There you go. Look at the, look at the head on him. Oh, yeah. Crush the bandit. Beauty. Hold on, Andy. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Andy. This is pen. All right, Andy. Super cold. I mean cold. Can't feel your fingers cold. You can't feel your fingers, Andy. Cannot feel them. Oh, there's a beautiful pipe, but. Okay. Shoulder. All right, guys. So as you could see from the background here, the winds this morning are, well, pretty much zero. Uh, water temps are at 40 degrees Fahrenheit at the boat ramps. They are starting to ice up. On my side, I will be running a Husky Jerk 14, custom color. Uh, and on Johnny's side, we will be running a Bandit. We are running unassisted this morning, meaning that there's no snap weights in on the line. I will be running mine back at about 160 to 170 feet back. Johnny, how far back are you gonna be running your bandit? About 175. There you go. So we're both gonna be running uh, at a very similar distance away from the boat. On planer boards, we're gonna try and get the uh, the spread a little bit away from the boat. Uh, and we're gonna see how we do. The last few days have been very productive in the morning. We are marking some suspended fish already. Uh, so I am anticipating a good morning on, on the walleye troll. Let's see how it goes.
it right. All right, guys, so managed to get one on the Husky Jerk, and we're gonna see just how big this one is. You're gonna get hit here on a big one. You saw the board. You saw the board engage, eh? Yeah. Just a change of pattern. So very small fish, um, small male, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get any bigger ones. Gallo. Yeah, buddy. How do you have your drag set up? So, you know, this is a question where if you ask, uh, you know, five different anglers, they're gonna give you five different answers. The way that I personally like to have my drag set up is that if a fish engages or connects with one of our lines, I want it to be the perfect amount of slack so that you hear the clicker. That's what I like to do. I know a lot of guys like to button it down. They watch the planer boards. If a, if a fish does connect, what I automatically do is I slightly tighten that drag. I bring up my rod and the, uh, the battle begins from there. So yeah, not too tight, just enough so that if a fish does connect, you hear this. You like to slant the odds in your favor. So you like to watch the boards yes. to see if they start moving differently. Yes. You've got your drag set loose enough that you can hear it pull if you happen to be looking away. You got it. What about leader material? Leader material, okay, so that's also another question where if you ask 10 different anglers, they're gonna give you 10 different answers. The way that I personally like to, uh, to run my setups is with a longer fluorocarbon leader, either 15 pound for walleye fishing or 20 pound if you can get uh, a, a manufacturer of line that makes a smaller diameter for the 20 pound. An example of that is Sunline. Sunline makes fantastic fluorocarbon leaders. I know a few very good anglers that prefer to run Sunline. On these setups right here, we are running 15 pound, 100% uh, fluorocarbon from P-Line. Now, the thing to consider is that the 20 pound Sunline is smaller diameter than the 15 pound P-Line. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as the water temperatures get colder, there's been days on the water where we're running a very long leader, 75 to 100 foot. And uh, we've been on the water with guys that I know that run standard length, 20 feet, 25 feet. And we've outfished them running the same Absolutely. lures, uh, you know, five to one. Now, so as the water temps do get colder, I like to extend the length of that leader but uh you know every angler has his own recipe for for what he considers being successful out on the water and uh you know just do what feels right for you guys in regards to blue collar we both run very long leaders this time of year uh and it seems to work so let's see if our current setups produce some fish johnny's on a bright colored bandit i'm on a dark colored rapala husky jerk 14. they are five and a half inches long so it's a bigger bait but we're gonna see if we can get these fish to engage. We are trolling between 1.5 and 1.6 miles an hour. Uh, and yeah, the anticipation is high this morning. Well, boys, it's a little bit of a slow, slow day trolling. Uh, but when waters are this calm, it's usually not ideal conditions. Fish, fish on. <laughs> right as I said that, we got a fish. Usually not ideal conditions for trolling. Uh, but we'll see. How does it feel? Better than what we've had. Better than what we've had. There you go. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good fish. Perfect. That'll warm you up. Definitely, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna take mine out a little bit further. He went all the way across, eh? Yeah. How many feet of line you got, Johnny? 90, 80. It's 
So you were running? So I'm running a bandit that's like a yellow with a white belly. It's actually done well up here for us. And uh, started out the day running it at 150, mm -hmm. but I noticed, I just picked up that smaller fish, so I thought I'd try and run it a bit deeper. Oh yeah, we're getting close here. This is a good fish. Oh yeah, yeah there he is. Much better fish. Nicer fish, buddy. All right. Not that's a it. super tanker, but. We're gonna see if I can if I can do this one-handed. Okay. Keep bringing them. Keep bringing them. Yeah. Ready? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bingo. He's in the net. Nice. Saying that it's difficult conditions, and it is the slowest morning thus far. Yeah, it's still difficult. But it's a bigger fish than we had earlier. Well, he's going back. Nice catch, Johnny. What do you think, bro? It's the best time of the year. <laughs>